Parker. In the meantime, Theron Ballance now, the Democratic congressman who says Starr is kind of wrong on this, that health care reform really doesn't add to government waste. In fact, it will go a long way toward reversing it. With me now, Tennessee Democrat Steve Cohen. Congressman, good to have you. Nice to be with you, Neil. Well, you know, the president saying, you know, Wall Street really hasn't learned, uh, not all of Wall Street, but some of the big ones who are now accepting these huge pay packages and reverting back to their old ways, as always discussing with Star Parker. But, but uh, couldn't the same congressman be said of government that it just keeps piling on the spending, more spending, more spending, and now health care, more spending, more spending on steroids? Well, I think that the, the spending on the TARP, which was necessitated by the, the, the financial institutions in Wall Street, saved our economy from, from just freezing up and going into a, a, a disastrous phase and a, a Great Depression. Well, how do, you know, AR, how do you know? How do you know that? Well, I think most of the experts, both on, the, on both sides, agree that the TARP and the ARRA is why we're improving while we're coming out of the recession and not going into a, a, a very difficult depression. But it's I like, uh, you might be right, sir, I don't mean to quibble over that point, but so many people have said that we've disproved a negative by citing we, the negative we avoided that it, it's really an unprovable point, right? Well, but the credit markets were frozen, and the only way to unfreeze those credit markets was to put liquidity into the system. So how we could health care providing nothing. I understand what you're saying. Then how could health care and providing it right now at this delicate time when we're spending far more than we have and running deficits far more than we've ever seen help us? Well, because health care can save money. By putting money in wellness and prevention programs, we can save money. Infant mortality is a serious issue in this country, and particularly in my district in Memphis. If we spend more money on having community health centers and general practice docs out there available to help the, the pregnant mothers to have children that aren't premature, we save a lot of money. It costs 20 times as much for a premature baby as it does for a non-premature baby. And a lot of wellness programs, getting vaccinations rather than treating illnesses, learning how to deal with diabetes on the front end rather than when it gets later. But, but, but that again is, you might be right, but that is again assuming savings that you don't know about, just like this intervention of the part of the government into the markets last year might have avoided a cataclysm, but the, again, no way to prove that. So, so given the government's track record on savings um, and that yet to be seen where the government in entering in a big way exacts huge savings in a big way, what makes you think this would be the charm? Well, uh, is it, cost of health care doubled in the last 10 years. It will continue to go up at a rate higher than wages, and it will break the government, it will break individuals. We've got to be concerned. This is a very serious issue for security and stability of the American family and the government as far as economic viability. And you can save money. There's no question about it. The previous speaker was talking about government, saying get government out of our lives. Well, it was the, it was the government that brought forth civil rights and it was the government that brought, back, brought about Medicaid and Medicare. And I don't think anybody would want to see Medicaid and Medicare or Social Security go away. But, but, but that doesn't, mean that, me that, doesn't mean that Medicaid and Medicare have been their own costly boondoggles, right? I mean, whatever benefits they have, Medicare, when it started 44 years ago, Congressman, started on a $65 million budget. It's now a $400 billion budget, handing out $5 trillion in benefits. Way larger, way bigger than anyone thought possible back then. Who's to say what you want to come up with now isn't going to do the same? Well, that's because a whole lot of the increase in the cost of health care, which is higher deductibles, higher, higher insurance premiums, more expensive health care, most expensive health care system in the world, has caused Medicare and Medicare, Medicaid and Medicare prices to go up, costs to go up, which will continue to do and okay. threaten the stability of our government. So we've got to get I a, understand. A, a, Real quickly, Congressman, uh, this public option thing, the president not apparently super married to it. Are you? I think it's a, a, a important. I think we should have a public option. I think it keeps the cost of insurance in check, and I think the insurance companies will, will be balanced by a public option. You know, it's interesting. Some of the Congress people say they've got a bill, and they say that the other congressmen, really pointing to the Democrats, aren't signing on to the public option to say they'll be on the public option if we have it. Well, what they're suggesting, I guess, is that there's something wrong with the public option and that so many congressmen would rather pick their insurance as they do now, private insurance, rather than the public option. Well, if that's the case, the insurance industry and the others in the healthcare industry don't have anything to worry about with the public option. On the one hand, they're worried about the public option taking over too much of the health care field, but then they say, well, nobody's signing up for it in the, in the Congress, so the congressman must not think it's that good. We're not going to be thinking any differently than the public. The public will not necessarily choose the public option, but for those that do, it'll be a check on insurance and keep costs down, and I think it's important. We need enough people to do that, though, right? 
Well, you do, and I think there will be, because it'll okay. cost less. There won't be the right. $10 million executive salaries. There won't be the profits. There won't be the advertising. All right. We shall see. Congressman, a pleasure Thank having you. Thank you, Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Well, House Democrats.